Hi, my name is Hamid. I'm a certified Cisco instructor at ASM Educational Center. Our website is www.asmed.com. You're looking at Rockford, Maryland. Today I'm going to talk about uh, continuation of router and stick. Remember in the last video we talked about router and stick. That means we have a router here which gives IP address to these guys. Now instead of here, our IP address is dot one, dot two, dot four, dot five. These IPs are static IPs. Instead of having a static IP address, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give in this router, which is router one here, is act like a DHCP server, and I give the scope to here. So that's the goal of this class: is to make this router act like a DHCP server. Before we do that, let's go to the router one. First, I type in what we have from last class, last video. If I say show IP INT brief, you see that we have a two sub interface 10.10.10.1, that's the default gear for this LAN, and 20.20.100, which is default gear for this LAN. Okay? Now, if I type in show run again, show run, and this is what we did last class, if you remember that. Remember that do not give IPS to physical interface, you give IPS to sub interface. This IP address acts as a default gear for these lands. And this IP address, and this is for what? VLAN 2. So remember that 2, that's correspond to the VLAN 2. And this number 3 corresponds to VLAN 3, which were here. And this is the IP address which acts as a default gear for these guys. Okay? So when I went to PC1, we know that from last guys, if I type in IP config, See this 1010.1 10 is as a ping 20.20.20.4. Okay, that's other side is we have what connectivity. Let's see that we see have a connectivity. But what we did in this in the last video we put a what static IP address. So instead of a static IP address, I want to use a DHCP. So that's what the goal is. If you look at my notes, that's why I say my notes. On last video, we talked about right on stick. That is, we made sure that the client from network 10 can come down. In this video, we're going to discuss about DHCP with the right on stick. Now, how do we do that? As follow. As we see, this is what we have so far. Show run. We have everything here. These are the, my IP address, which I show you. And again, this is VLAN 2. This is for default gear for VLAN 2 and this is for default gear for VLAN number 3 right here okay now what are we going to do remember that from last week on this we only give IP address to sub interface not physical interface so don't forget that always always give IP address to what sub interface we never give it to what F00 okay now we're going to configure DHCP hint always you want to start with the IP DHCP question mark Remember that from DHCP server video, which we've done it before, it is done in two-step process. First, you have to create what? Exclude IP address range. Then you're going to create what? Scope and give IP address for default given. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Step one, I'm going to exclude the IP address. So I'm going to go to router one. I'm going to say config T. IP DHCP question mark. always start with the question mark IP DHC question mark first we're going to exclude address then we're going to use the word pool so I'm going to say exclude act exclude address question mark now here I'm going to say 10.10.10.100 I'm going to just use a single IP address what that means that means I do not want to give this IP address to the, my client why is that because in that diagram this is act as a default gateway so I want to I don't want to give IP address to these guys okay so that's it. Enter. Then that's step one is exit. So that's why I did my notes. This is step one right here. Now step two. Now I'm gonna give IP scope of the network that. So let's go that. So I'll go back to here again. Config T IP DHCP question mark. Now I'm gonna say the word pool. Pool question mark now here for the word I'm going to use LAN I'm sorry LAN 10 okay now when I put a question mark notice what I have I have a default router I have a network and if I have a DNS I have a DNS and also option this option we can see later on we're going to use for voice so first I'm going to say network network question mark 
10.10.10.0 question mark 90 the what mask the mask will be what 255.255.255.0 the next thing I want to do I want to make sure that my PC get a default given so I'm going to use a default router so I'm going to use the word default router question mark here is going to be 10.10.10.100 10 because that's the that's the IP address that I'm going to give it out to the my what to the client right here 10 10 down 100 okay control Z show run so here what we have this is excluding IP address and these are the IPs I'm going to give to my LAN okay so that's what I did in my notes I go back here IP config all of that IP JC question all of that and here's my show run so far all right now I'm going to do same concept for what network 2020 so I go back to my router again config T IP DACP question mark again here I'm going to use what exclude address again exclude address question mark exact same concept I'm going to use as follow here now here exclude address will be 20.20.20.100 enter okay that's that part the next part I want to do as step one is step two I want to give what scope of that network 20 so that's what I'm going to do right now so I'm going to say again IP DACP question mark now I'm going to use the word pool question mark and I'm going to use the word LAN 20 when I put a question mark here I need a what same concept network question mark 20.20.20.0 question mark then again uh, what I need I need a mask so the mask will be what 255.255.255.0 the next thing I want to do I want to do what default router default router question mark now here I want to point it to where 2020.100 okay so 20.20.20.100 Control Z. Let's check the work. Show run. Here we go. So I have both of it. This is for network 10 is exclude. This is for network what 20 excludes. This is for my LAN 10 is right here. This is my scope is and this is my default router, default gateway, and this LAN 20 and this is that one. Okay. So that's what I did so far. So here's I did all of that in my know and here's my show runners. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do now if I go to all PC I'm gonna make a DHB client they will get IP address and I will be able to ping from one network to another network so let's do that quickly right now so I go to PC1 remember this was a static so I'm going to make it what? DHCP now let's see if we got an IP address aha uh -huh, I got dot three, which is makes sense okay because one of the IP addresses is PC1 then I go to what? PC2 let's see if I get IP address I got dot four with the subnet and default gear 100 that's good so far so let me label this so that's going to be dot three right now and this guy is going to be what dot four so I'm going to delete that one so we won't get confused so this is dot four okay Now I'm going to go to PC4, do the same thing. Let me get a DHCP. Let's see what IP address I get. I get 2020.1. So I'm going to make this IP address. Simply say what? Dot one. I go back to here and make this guy also DHCP. DHCP. And this, that's dot two. So this one is going to be dot two okay so let's go test this if I can have connectivity I go to here I do IP config I see 10 10 10 dot three that let's see if I can ping my neighbor 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot four I can ping this guy dot four now let's see if I can ping 20 20 dot one ping 20 dot 20 dot 20 dot one okay let's see if we can ping it and I should be able what ping it all right great so it's working fine so the summary is all you have to do 
sure run. Sorry about that. Okay, you need to exclude for each network, and the key is you gotta make sure that this I this network number matches with your what? With this IP address. That's very important. When I say show IP int brief, so the key is you gotta remember that this IP address and this IP address has to match with what your network. Okay. Okay, that's it. That will finish our summary. Again, if you need to refresh it, I have done video. If you go to our web page, this is asmedia.com. If you go to blog CCNA, you're going to go here. I have done uh, the video on what? Right on sticks. And also, we have done some video if you need to refresh it on what? DHCP right here. If I can find it, right here. When you click on here, you're going to see exactly what we did on DHCP server and everything is really done step by step like what to do what not to do alright so again if you have a question any comment uh, this is our phone number and our email address is at the bottom here is which is info at asme.com thanks so much for watching please make sure you subscribe and leave us a comment thank you you have a good day